The world of technology is witnessing a significant shift. This change is largely driven by United States sanctions targeting China's access to advanced semiconductor technology. These restrictions have created considerable hurdles for Chinese technology companies. The sanctions aim to limit China's ability to produce the most sophisticated computer chips. These chips are vital for everything from smartphones to advanced military hardware. In response, China has embarked on an ambitious journey towards technological self-sufficiency. The Chinese government and its leading technology companies, notably Huawei, are pouring billions into research and development. Their goal is clear to build a domestic semiconductor industry that can compete with and eventually rival the established global leaders. This strategic pivot is not merely a reaction to sanctions, it is a long-term vision for China to become a dominant force in critical future technologies. The impact of these sanctions was felt almost immediately across China's burgeoning tech sector. Companies found themselves cut off from essential components and software. Huawei, once a dominant player in the global smartphone market, saw its international sales plummet. Yet, this adversity appears to have galvanized a determined response. The overarching aim is to create a closed-loop system where chips are designed, manufactured, and assembled within China's borders. At the forefront of China's push for semiconductor independence is Huawei Technologies. The company is now venturing into the highly complex world of chip manufacturing machinery. Huawei is reportedly developing its own extreme ultraviolet lithography machine. EUV technology is essential for producing the smallest and most powerful chips. Currently, only ASML of the Netherlands produces these sophisticated machines. Huawei's success in this area would be groundbreaking. U.S. export controls have restricted access to ASML's EUV machines for Chinese companies. A viable alternative from Huawei would allow China to bypass these restrictions. Reports suggest Huawei is making tangible progress. Components for an EUV machine are being tested at Huawei's R&D facility in Dongguan. Trial production could begin as early as the second quarter of 2025. Full-scale manufacturing is anticipated for 2026. Huawei is leveraging its research capabilities and financial resources. The next 18 months will be crucial in observing whether Huawei can deliver on this promise. Huawei's approach to creating the crucial EUV light source appears to differ from ASML's established method. The Dutch giant ASML uses a technique called laser-produced plasma. In contrast, Huawei is reportedly pursuing a technology known as laser-induced discharge plasma. The choice of LDP could offer certain advantages, though it also comes with its own set of technical hurdles to overcome for mass production. One of the potential benefits of the LDP source is lower energy consumption compared to ASML's LPP systems. Given the immense power requirements of modern semiconductor fabrication plants, any reduction in energy use would be a significant advantage. However, the LDP technology is not without its potential drawbacks. While it might be less expensive and more energy efficient, there are questions about its ability to match the wafer throughput of LPP sources. The success of Huawei's EUV ambitions will hinge critically on the efficiency and yield of its chosen LDP light source. Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, or SMIC, stands as China's largest and most advanced chip foundry. It plays a pivotal role in the nation's strategy to build a self-reliant semiconductor industry. SMIC has become a crucial partner for domestic chip designers, especially Huawei which has been cut off from its previous manufacturing partners like TSMC. In the face of U.S. sanctions, SMIC has been tasked with producing chips for Huawei using the technology available to it. Despite its progress, SMIC operates under considerable constraints. The most significant of these is its lack of access to ASML's EUV lithography machines. Without EUV, SMIC is currently limited to using older deep ultraviolet immersion lithography technology. The development of a domestic EUV solution by Huawei is critically important for SMIC's future ability to manufacture globally competitive chips. In the absence of readily available EUV lithography machines, Chinese companies like Huawei and SMIC have demonstrated remarkable ingenuity. They have focused on maximizing the potential of existing deep ultraviolet lithography tools. One key technique being employed is self-aligned quadruple patterning, or SAQP. 
This complex process allows chipmakers to etch finer circuit patterns than DUV machines were originally designed for. Huawei, in collaboration with SMIC, is actively developing three nanometer chips using SAQP lithography with these DUV machines. While SAQP is more intricate and generally results in lower yields and higher costs compared to EUV for such advanced nodes, it provides a pathway to producing more powerful chips than would otherwise be possible. The successful introduction of Huawei's 7nm Kirin 9000S chip in its Mate 60 Pro smartphone in August 2023 was a significant milestone. This chip, manufactured by SMIC using DUV technology, notably reintroduced 5G capabilities to Huawei's flagship handsets. These achievements showcase the practical successes of China's DUV-focused strategy while it works towards a domestic EUV solution. Huawei's ambitions in the semiconductor field extend beyond just catching up in current manufacturing techniques. The company is also investing heavily in research and development for future chip technologies. This includes exploring novel materials and advanced transistor architectures. One area of focus is the use of gate all around or GAA transistors. Huawei plans to incorporate GAA transistors in its upcoming 3 nanometer chip designs. This advanced transistor structure promises to enhance energy efficiency and computing power compared to the FinFET transistor architecture currently used in most advanced chips. Furthermore, Huawei is looking into materials that could one day replace silicon, the workhorse material of the semiconductor industry for decades. Researchers at Huawei are exploring the potential of two-dimensional materials, such as graphene or transition metal decalcogenides. These materials have unique electronic properties that could enable even smaller and faster chips. China's determination to achieve semiconductor self-sufficiency is backed by an unprecedented level of national investment. The Chinese government, along with state-affiliated funds and private enterprises, is channeling tens of billions of pounds into every facet of the semiconductor ecosystem. This financial commitment is transforming the domestic landscape, fostering the growth of local companies and research institutions. In 2024, China notably led the world in global sales of semiconductor manufacturing equipment. This surge in purchasing highlights the country's aggressive push to build and expand its domestic chip production capabilities. This massive investment extends beyond just chip fabrication. Significant funds are also being directed towards developing the entire supply chain. This includes nurturing companies involved in semiconductor design software, known as EDA tools, raw materials like silicon wafers and specialty chemicals, and crucial manufacturing components. The strategic importance of building a robust domestic supply chain cannot be understated. The prospect of China successfully developing its own advanced semiconductor manufacturing capabilities, particularly its own EUV lithography machines, carries profound implications for the global market. If Huawei's EUV technology proves to be effective and commercially viable, it could significantly disrupt the current status quo. ASML, the Dutch company that currently holds a monopoly on EUV machines, would face its first serious competitor. This could lead to changes in pricing, innovation pressures and market share dynamics within this highly critical segment of the semiconductor industry. The entire global supply chain would need to adapt to this new reality. International reactions to China's advancements are mixed. Some established players view China's efforts with concern, fearing increased competition and potential intellectual property issues. Others see opportunities or are adapting their strategies to the changing landscape. The ongoing US-China trade war and the associated geopolitical uncertainties continue to cast a long shadow over the global semiconductor industry. Companies and countries are re-evaluating their supply chain vulnerabilities and considering strategies to enhance their own technological sovereignty. The next few years will be crucial in determining the extent to which China can alter the global semiconductor map. China's journey towards semiconductor self-sufficiency is undoubtedly a marathon, not a sprint. Despite the impressive progress and massive investments, significant hurdles remain. Developing a fully independent and globally competitive semiconductor industry is an incredibly complex endeavor. One of the primary challenges lies in mastering the intricacies of advanced manufacturing processes, particularly for cutting-edge technologies like EUV lithography. Beyond the lithography equipment itself, China must also cultivate a comprehensive domestic ecosystem. 
This includes developing advanced photoresis materials, high-purity chemicals, precision optics, sophisticated photo masks, and robust electronic design automation, or EDA tools. Each of these elements is critical, and many are currently dominated by companies outside of China. Building up world-class capabilities in all these supporting industries will take considerable time, sustained investment, and a great deal of coordinated effort. The world watches closely to see if this bold national strategy will indeed lead to a fundamental shift in technological power.